Hey reefers, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to do a four gallon water change on my Fluval Evo 13 and a half. So what I'm using today is two five gallon Home Depot buckets. I filled one of the buckets up with four gallons of RODI water. I'm also using the stock pump from the Fluval, a heater, two clamps, a measuring cup, a water siphon, I use to clean the sand, and of course the sea salt. So I'm using the Instant Ocean Sea Salt and the instructions call for a half cup for every one US gallon. I'm doing four gallons so that's two total cups of salt. So before I add the salt I like to put the stock Fluval pump inside the bucket first so it can stir the salt around. So next you'll slowly want to add the salt in. After you got the salt in the bucket, you just insert your heater. So after a couple hours, you want to check the temperature to make sure it's up to your tank temperature. I keep my tank at about 79 degrees. So you're gonna wanna make sure the water you put in for the water change is about the same temperature. You're gonna also want a refractometer to check the salinity. I keep my salinity at about 1.025. So you wanna make sure your new water matches your tank water before you change it out. Somebody wants to say hi. So to use a refractometer, you just need to get a couple drops of water, drip it over the refractometer, close it up, and look in. So you got your water ready. You just want to make sure you clamp the end of the siphon onto the bucket so water doesn't spill everywhere when you're doing this. Also placed a little sticker here so I know when to stop siphoning out the water to match the new water. To start the siphon, I just put the end of the hose in. Give it a couple of squeezes of the pump. And the siphon should start. And, you, and how I do it, I like to clean my sand bed while I do this. So after you siphon the water out, I like to use the hose from the siphon to attach to the fluval pump to pump the water into the tank. So as I pump the water in, I like to use the water pump as like a water blaster to clean off all the sand off my rocks. So after you're done, you want to make sure you rinse all the equipment you use. I like to run the pump through some uh, fresh water and also have the heater in there. Make sure all the salt water is off of it so you don't have any salt build up. 